Buongiorno and hello everybody. It's such a special day here in Maranello, so special that even snow has come to visit us and it's a very important day for Scuderia Ferrari. I am in Nuova Logistica. From here all the equipment, spare parts, vehicles around the world and today we are about to see a new chapter of Scuderia Ferrari's history. Do you want to be part of it? Then follow me. Sound. This engine that you're hearing is the new 62 Evo engine, the new engine that we're going to have in the new car. It's a very important day. This was started a few days ago here in Maranello, and it's, a, it's, like, it's like the start of the season for the engineers, for the mechanics. There's a lot of tradition for Ferrari when the new engine, you hear it and it's started. We've had V12s, V10s, V8s in the history of Ferrari, and now this very efficient hybrid V6 turbo engine. The engine is the heart, is the soul of the Ferrari cars. And our engineers, our mechanics have put so much effort into this new, very advanced engine. Welcome. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for being here with us and sharing this very, very special moment. Also, let me thank our guests, our authorities, our Scuderia Ferrari sponsors, our team, represented by Maurizio Arrivabene, Mattia Binotto, team principal and technical director, our drivers, and of course, our vice president, Piero Ferrari, and our president, Sergio Marchiano. Marchione, thank you all for being here in the official launch of Scuderia Ferrari's Formula One car that will take part in this 2018 season. But also, let me thank some very special guests. For Ferrari, our fans, our Tifosi are very important. It's the only team that no matter where you go around the world, which circuit, there's always Ferrari flags, red flags. But we have 15 of these um, fans that they entered into a contest where they had to share, bring their passion to us. And they are here with us, and I want to show you what they did. Here comes a video. Ciao a tutti. Il mio nome è Joaquín del Puerto e da bambino sono un fan appassionato della Ferrari. The driver, the best cars, all tracks lead to Maranello. The best, the best fans in the world are here with us. China, you come all the way from Indonesia, and uh, we've seen that uh, you share your passion for Ferrari with your tradition and your culture. Um, when did you become, how did you become a Ferrari fan? Okay, uh, it was actually my dad, because since I was a child, he always invites me to watch uh, F1 in television, and his favorite team, team uh, F1 is always Ferrari. That's the first time I become a, a fan of Ferrari. I learned a lot about passion from Ferrari, that's why. When I make this video, I make a Ferrari logo from Batik clothes and as uh, my country's heritage, Indonesia. I hope you all like it. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. And we have now here Giacomo. You come from Tuscany, so you don't come so far away like uh, Sheena, but you are also very passionate. We've seen that video. It's a thrill when you are playing the guitar in your neighborhood, simulating a Grand Prix. And how, how do you share your passion for, for Ferrari and for guitars? Thank you, Mark. Uh, you say before that uh, the engine of the Ferrari is the earth. And uh, let's, let's summarize in four words, because it's pure sound as a pure music. For me and for us, engine sound is music. 
and uh, it was a uh, I take inspiration from a Bhutan uh, engine. Uh, I had to uh, found the to find the the right frequency of the engine at the 18,700 RPM, and then you had to match with the strings. To tune, we had to, to tune the, your strings of the guitar at the same frequency, about uh, 779 hertz. You thank you. Don't. Thank you. Thank you very much, Giacomo, Sheena, and all the fans, because believe me, for Ferrari, they are, you are very, very important. Thank you. So it's amazing to see how Ferrari is able to bring passion to all the homes, to all the circuits around the world. Only Ferrari is able to do this. But there is a lot of work. But passion starts here in Maranello. That's where passion is, is born. And there is a lot of work, dedication, devotion, days of work, nights of work to create a Formula One car. And uh, I was very lucky to be part of this creation. Last few days, I was walking around Maranello, and I managed to see the final touches of the Scuderia Ferrari car. We've just heard just before the sound of the engine, and now I want to show you the rest of the car. For over 30 years, composites have been used in Formula One, but these materials are not all the same. A lot of research, development, and work involved using this technology. Carbon fiber is processed, molded, and cured in the autoclave. Here at Mechanica department, the most advanced numerical control machines go hand in hand with human handcraft skills. The result is a wide range of metallic components which are produced to be fitted on the race car. Since testing has been reduced, the simulator is becoming more and more important, both for car development and also for driver training. Any setup option or new car update can be tested as if we are on the real racetrack. We are at the vehicle assembly, and in this particular moment, the driver is doing his seat fitting. This is a very important moment for the team, but especially for the driver, because the seat is a bit of the extension of his body with the car. It's made in carbon fiber, therefore you want to be able to spill everything that's going on around with the car, to feel the understeer, the oversteer, but also, very important, the position, because you want to have a proper visibility. For the driver today, it's a little bit like the moment that the season starts. So here we are. In a few days, the car will be testing in Barcelona. At the end of March, there will be the first Grand Prix in Melbourne, in Australia. But this is the moment we've all been waiting for, the unveiling of the car. Let's go.
It is such a thrill. It is such a thrill to see it for the first time. Here we can see only small part of the team that work in the car. So thank you all. Thank you for all the effort you put in the car. It's very, very important. And please let me join me in stage here. Maurizio Rivabene, Mattia Binotto, and my colleagues, Kimi Raikkonen and Sebastian Vettel. Please, thank you. Thank you, Maurizio, Mattia. Thank you, Kimi, and thank you, Seb. So thank you for being here. I will start with you, Maurizio. It's always a very special day, the unveiling of the car. What are your first words, your first thoughts on the car? I mean, uh, when, uh, when you're going to see a new Ferrari, I think it's uh, always a special day for the automotive world. We saw two days ago uh, the first images of the 488 uh, Pista. Today we are going to see our Formula of Formula One, and this is something for me that is always special. Having said so, when I'm looking at the car, I'm thinking about this guy. You see, they are all standing for the respect that they have for the brand, for the company that they are working for, and for this car. And I'm thinking about the work of them and their colleagues uh, that they were constructing piece after piece intellectually and manually, all this car, with passion, with commitment, with a lot of effort. And uh, they were researching, they were developing, they were caring about every single detail. And this is something that is making the work uh, of these people, these people in Maranello, something special. Something special because uh, this car is made here, it's made in our factory is made in Italy, and it's uh, a piece of excellence of uh, our country. And this is the emotion that I feel every time that I'm going to see this car. And I would like to thank all the people that is working here and is working in uh, Gran Turismo. Thank you. Thank you, Maurizio. <laughs> and talking about the team, the off-season period has been quite short because Abu Dhabi was just a couple of months ago. How intense have been these two months until we come here when we have the, the car? How, how, how hard has the team has been working these two months? Because it's quite a short period. No, first of all, there is no off-season, because uh, off-season is a legend. I mean, uh, we, we start working on this uh, new car even before the end of the season. I saw all, uh, all the people, the, the guys especially, that they are working together with Mattia, thinking about the concept of this car uh, months before the season, the season end. So, I mean, uh, and during, during the winter, uh, during January, during February, until a couple of hours ago, everybody, they, they were working very, very hard. And as I said before, to to check and to build uh, every single detail of uh, this car and to try to do all the very best, uh, and they can do it. I'm sure about this. Thank you. And now to you, Mattia. The name has been disclosed, the SF71H. Tell us the most important concept of this new project. Okay, thank you. Buongiorno a tutti. Um, the new car, the SF71H, represents an evolution of last year's car, uh, which somehow was already a good, a good project. We tried to retain the strengths, uh, a strength, I would say, first, aggressiveness in some of the concepts we've designed, a car which was somehow performing very well on low-speed circuits. But as well, you knew that we had to work on new area of development, uh, as I would mention, for example, OBSI, as, as opposite, try to develop the car to be strong and performant on the high-speed circuits, but as well on, on reliability. Um, what has changed? I think the main difference we, we, may, we may indicate, we, we have a longer wheelbase, slightly longer wheelbase compared to last year. We had the side pots and the radiator ducts, which are even more aggressive, more innovative compared to what we had last year. And I think that overall, the entire team did a fantastic job in terms of packaging, 
to be very tight. I think that if you look at the body, it's a very narrow body, and I think that's are the main, let me say, concepts of the new car. And uh, talking about the regulation, very obvious. Everybody talks about the halo. Everybody talks about no shark fin anymore. But is there any other thing, any other regulation changes that we cannot see that you had to think about them? Oh, the, the hurt is under the bodywork. I think the most visible, as you said, is the halo. The halo has been introduced for the safety of the drivers. But the, the halo, as it is very visible, it is as well very intrusive on the design. Um, it is not a straightforward exercise. It has affected obviously the weight of the car, the center of gravity, the air into the engine scope, but as well all the flow to the rear wing. So we put quite a lot of effort to make sure that everything was working properly. Thank you, Mattia. And now we go to the drivers. Kimi, you've been here several times. This is the eighth uh, Ferrari presentation, if I'm not mistaken. Um, of course, you have not driven the car yet, but you've sat in it. How, how, a lot of people are wondering how different it is to drive the car underneath the, the halo. Yeah, of course, it's uh, a pleasure to be part of, uh, again, a new Ferrari from a one car uh, presentation and uh, you know it's it's it looks nice it looks nice and usually when uh, when it looks nice it's there's uh, you know the speed speed also but uh, obviously we will see that next week and upcoming test and uh, the first race is the latest but uh, yeah the halo it looks so different but uh, to be honest uh, we tried it last year a few times and uh, it's um, it wasn't big difference really you, you get used to it and you don't really notice it uh, obviously with this car it's uh, it's designed into it so it should be even better it should be less visible even when you're driving so uh, yeah, it looks a bit different but then uh, with all the different rule changes over the year you know cars look different but then we get used to it very quickly so uh, yeah I don't it's, it's what it is and uh, it's, it's a safety thing so I think uh, it's happy to take it and even though this is your eighth uh, presentation and you've been from run for long, it's always very emotional. Do you always feel it's a very special day in your career? Um, yeah, it's always, uh, you know, there's uh, so much like Mauricio and everybody said that so much work has gone in, hours and planning and all kind of things. And it's uh, until the last, I was last time, last night I saw it first time myself in one piece. So, you know, it, Goes very late, and then uh, it's uh, a relief in excitement always when it when it gets ready, and especially now we get to drive it soon. So then we really see, you know, what uh, what it is and what it can be do, what it can do. So uh, it's an exciting uh, time of the year. And uh, Sebastian, carrying on on Kimi, we've seen on the video you having the seat fit in the car. What do you feel the first time you sit in the cockpit? You know, and you try the steering wheel, try. What did you feel? What were your feelings on the SF 71H? Well, you feel whether you fit or, or you don't. Um, and uh, yeah, we had a very smooth and easy seat fit, um, so there were, were no problems, and I uh, felt comfortable straight away. Uh, some minor things obviously change every year. Uh, the chassis is mostly, you know, transparent uh, to last year also in terms of regulations, but uh, still the seating position is always a little bit different, so it matters. Uh, to feel comfortable, which I did, um, and uh, now it's obviously the time where you see the car, it's all ready, so you want to get in and you want to you wanna go out on, on the track and have a go. And in this presentation, we have all the team, Not this is only part of it, small part of it, there's a lot more people that work in the car. What would you tell to them, you know, that they've worked so hard, is it, does it feel a little bit different to present a car with all the team around you? Yeah, it is. I think it's very nice. Uh, you know, as we all touched on, um, it's a lot of, lot of, lot of hours, a lot of work that goes in, uh, not just during the off season or winter, but even uh, you know very early during last season, starting the the new project. And uh, to stand here now, I think uh, it's very special for all of us. And uh, I think what they are waiting for, uh, for us to say is how it feels. So uh, we can't wait to get out on on the track uh, to see how the car performs, how it behaves. I think that's uh, the, the answer that we all want to get, and we go from there. But uh, for sure, the amount of effort that has gone in, uh, the attention to detail in so many areas that I asked and, uh, you know, they explained to me, it's, it's impressive. And as, Mat as Matthias said, uh, the real magic happens sort of underneath uh, from what you can see. But uh, every little, little detail uh, matters, every little, little 
part, you know, can make a difference. And I think uh, this year's car is a big step from last year. So let's see how it uh, how it feels. And finally, make let me make you uh, let me ask you two more questions in Italian because let's not forget it. The car has Italian soul. Allora, uh, Maurizio, um, quan, quali sono i tuoi pensieri, il tuo feeling quando hai visto? So, Maurizio, what are your feelings when you first saw the car? So, as I saw, as I said before, uh, any time uh, you see a new Ferrari, you get a very special feeling. I'm not going to talk about emotions. I would like to talk about the people. I would like to talk about these guys who worked with us building this car piece by piece in terms of design, in terms of efficiency, and the work they did on the chassis, on the aerodynamics, on any part of the car. So that's intellectual work, that's manual work, and this is actually what makes Ferrari different. The Ferrari that was done here, that was made here in Maranello in Italy, was made here and not uh, uh, anywhere else. And it is exactly this that matters. That's the most important thing. You see, everybody is here, they're standing. This is sign of respect and sign of the awareness of the fact that everything they've done building this car has been done being aware of one thing, that we are building a Ferrari car. That's what matters. That's what makes us proud. And that's what uh, really is a piece of Italian excellency. Thank you very much, Maurizio. And for you, Mattia, what are the most important concepts of this project that you had to work with? Okay, as I was saying before, so uh, in terms of regulations, uh, we introduced the Halo for the safety of the um, drivers, but we started from the project of last year. There was already a very good base for us. So we tried to keep the strengths of the car, so our car with a very good aerodynamics uh, load in uh, low speed circuits, the car actually performed really well last year, and that was the first thing. And then in general, this is a car that also last year had a, a very important, a certain aggressiveness. And we tried to keep them also in the new car. Then we tried to improve in almost all areas. We tried to, to make sure that this car uh, performs well also in fast speed circuits, so that it is performing. Reliability is yet another important issue in this uh, uh, season as well. There will be less uh, engines at the disposal of uh, uh, drivers, uh, so we increase the power unit, but at the same time we try to increase the uh, distance, uh, useful distance. The wheel uh, drive actually is a little bit longer. We tried uh, to continue our project on the sides of the car and the uh, radiator ducts. And then the whole team did a lot on the rear of the car, trying to make the car uh, very nice. If you look at the body of the car, it's much uh, narrower than the year before. And we believe this is a very good base for the development of the car, for the good aerodynamic uh, development of the car for the future. Thank, Thank you, Mattia. We are the closing stages of this event. Now we're going to show a close-up video of uh, the car and uh, see you at the racetrack and Forza Ferrari. Thank you.